What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And in this week's lesson, we look at how we can use thirds rather than power chords. So what I like to do on this channel is to take a musical concept and look at a way that we can incorporate it into our guitar playing and our songwriting. And in this week's lesson, what I want to do is talk about not playing power chords as much and look at ways that we can incorporate playing thirds to add a lot more color into our playing. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are in a drop D tuning. Down in the description below, you can find a link for a PDF and guitar profile. And while you're down there, please subscribe because we do this weekly. So we are in a drop D tuning and we're going to try to get as much mileage out of this concept as possible. So we're going to we're going to use the same chords and we're going to look at two different modes. We're going to get these ideas based off of a chord scale and I don't want to go too much into that. You'll see that in the transcription in, in the tabs. Okay. Okay, so we're going to focus on a little fragment of it. So let's check out this little example. All right, fun little example uh, in Phrygian, right? It's got a very metal vibe to it. And we're not playing power chords. We're playing the thirds. If you're unfamiliar with thirds, we're going to base it off of our D chord, all right, because we are in an open D tuning. So we're going to put our ring finger on five of the A string, and then our first finger is going to play three of the D string. It's got a lot more crunchier sound rather than just playing power chords. Right, the power chord has a much brighter, stabler sound. If I play the minor third, a little more color, a little more flavor, a little more angst, right? Then you can use that to craft the sound of your riffs. There's a couple of things that I want you guys to work on, especially my beginner players out there with a riff like this. I want you to first palm mute, right? Use the, the corner of your hand where the string leaves out if you're not comfortable doing that, right? And pick hard. Don't pick like you're afraid of the person in the next room hearing what you're playing. Another thing that I could see happen is when you play these chords and you pick through them, maybe you'll get some extra string noise, those open strings ringing out. And just a tip on muting with your left hand, when you play these, especially the minor chord, for me, your first finger should be essentially resting on all the strings above the string that you're playing. So I'm playing the D string and my first finger is really right relaxing on all of those strings. And then my ring finger, I'm on the tip of my ring finger. Right? I know I see a lot of beginner players out there, you know, they try to get on the tips of their fingers so much that when they play these riffs, and you don't necessarily want that. So really work on your left hand muting, okay? So let's have some fun with this, right? Like I talked about in the beginning, I mentioned let's get some more mileage out of this. We can play the same thing, or the same chords, you might not play it in the same style, if you play it up a major third or five frets on the guitar, right? So if, if we're playing on here, five and three, play it on nine and seven. And now when you play the same chords in relation to the open T string, now, now you're gonna get a D major sound. I could play the same thing. Right, the same, the same kind of vibe. There's a million and one ways that you can go about this. I wanted to present this idea to you because one, you can work on your left hand muting and attacking your palm muting aggressively, but two, you can expand different tonal centers with very simple ideas and also get you out of using power chords all the time, which we tend to, as rock players, can easily get stuck in power chord land. Everything we do is just sloshing around power chords, and this is a great way to inject some color, right? So like I said, down in the description below, you can find a link for a PDF and a guitar profile. While you're down there, please subscribe, because we do these lessons weekly, and as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.